how do I deal with somebody's uh, endpoint device that perhaps has, uh, you know, two profiles on it? It's got a corporate and a personal profile on it. What do I do about security in that environment? What do I do about managing my workforce that's in motion when things are, are moving around? And policy decisions become very challenging when the edges are blurry, right? And people are moving in and out of my environment in kind of a dynamic fashion. And so I want to be able to make sure I've got a consistent policy deployment and that I'm able to scale my distributed network as things change, as things move. And so the idea then is that we need a comprehensive solution in order to be able to manage this kind of dynamic, multi-changing environment. So I need something that's scalable. I need something that's going to work for my wired environment, my wireless environment, my VPN connections, anybody that's coming in from anywhere. I want to take advantage of my existing network infrastructure. And one of the things that you're going to find that Cisco provides that's unique is that you don't have to build a new superstructure on top of your existing infrastructure. That the, the infrastructure is going to provide you with the, the information and the intelligence you need to get the things that are done. Uh, centralized policy, all those sorts of things are, are fundamental to being able to make pull something like this off. So at Cisco TrustSec, is it's a centralized identity policy-based system that's going to manage and control who and what is on your network, what they're allowed to do, where they're allowed to go, what that device is going to be allowed to do. It provides a whole bunch of different types of solutions. So I'm going to provide user authentication and role-based access for that user based on context. Where are they at? What device are they using? Where are they coming from? Where are they trying to go? I want to be able to do device posture assessment. We do a lot of things like like uh, I authenticate the user, but I have no idea if the device they're trying to bring out of my network is healthy or not. I want to be able to do an assessment of that device. I want to be able to identify non-user devices as well. So security cameras on my network. Is that really a security camera that's logged onto my network? It's attached to my network or not? And what's my policy for that device? Can I make sure that that security camera transmits data but never requests data, right? Can I, can I enforce that policy using my network? Guest access, centralized policy, all of that is part of the TrustSec solution. We have two deployment options as it relates to being able to get granular control over who's allowed to come into and, and uh, leave your network. There's an overlay method for folks with a heterogeneous environment. Uh, they're looking for a scalable, easy to deploy solution. Uh, NAC appliance is, a, is an ideal solution where the innovators and pioneers in this particular space, the NAC, uh, the NAC appliance tools allow you to plug and play a, a technology. We also have an 802.1x infrastructure method and this is going to provide an extended functionality beyond just access control but dynamic enforcement throughout the entire infrastructure. So once I've established who you are what device this is, I can then maintain the policy, the access policy for that user or device as it moves itself through the network, as it, as it tra traverses the network. The network devices themselves actually play a role in enforcing that policy. Do things like MACSEC encryption throughout the entire network based on policy. So someone who is going to be accessing kind of their uh, uh, their email, maybe I'm not going to encrypt that traffic, but if they have permission to access access the uh, payroll server, I'm going to make sure that that, that connection is always, always encrypted.